Dokter bilang kamu sakit parah, jangan takut. Aku akan berusaha semaksimal mungkin menyelamatkan nyawamu. Rasanya hati ini bercucuran darah ketika melihat kamu semakin lemah dan semakin tak tertolong. Betapa aku ingin menderita menggantikanmu. Kamu bilang kamu tidak punya lagi penyesalan di hidup ini dan hanya ingin aku merawat Senhe. Wow, ini cerita Senhe ternyata. Mengapa air matamu keluar jika kamu tidak ada penyesalan? Aku tidak tahu apa yang kulakukan. Aku memang bernafas, tapi semuanya terasa hampa. Ku baca semua naskah kuno yang bisa ku dapatkan demi mencari cara untuk menyelamatkanmu. Ketemu. Ternyata Mingjun menyembunyikan kitab mungkin untuk menyelamatkanmu. Ku ambil buku ini untuk memanggil dewa dan membuat pengorbanan. Dewan muncul. Aku bilang bahwa aku rela menukar nyawaku agar kamu dapat tetap hidup. Dia tidak menjawab tapi terlihat ke arah putri kita. Putri kita ini maksudnya mungkin Senhe ya. Sang Dewa, bab, Sang Dewa berkata bahwa takdir putri kita adalah takdir terkutuk Nah ini ya bener nih, ini kayaknya takdirnya si Senhe nih Dia membawa bencana kepada orang-orang sekelilingnya Sang Dewa juga bilang bahwa dia mungkin saja penyebab kematianmu Jika demikian aku harus Titik-titik artinya kayaknya mau dibunuh Senhe nya Tinggal pun di tempat Dewa itu muncul Tiga hari berlalu dan aku tidak tahu menahu tentang kabarnya Aku terus menunggu dalam kegelisahan dan aku dilanda firasat buruk. Maafkan aku, Senhe, betapa bodohnya aku, biarkan aku meminta ampun padamu dan ibumu secara langsung. So, Shenha is the divine damsel? Ya, yeah, Yunjin, you're correct. Now that I think about it, she does behave rather like an adeptus, and she is about the right age. So that's why I've been getting the strangest feeling whenever I chat with her. I should have noticed according to this text, the Aduh, divine damsel from the opera hamburan. was actually the daughter of the loving couple. And she didn't volunteer. She was sacrificed yes. to the monster by her own father. Oh. Truth is even more lamentable than the opera. Now I understand why Shenha said the girl was not as brave as people think. It wasn't her choice to enter that ghastly situation. She was forced into it. Oh. It looks like my father may need to make a few revisions to his beloved opera. Catatan tentang desa yang berubah Satu cabang keluarga pengusir roh jahat pernah tinggal di daerah di bagian timur desa Mereka tiba-tiba mengalami musibah dal hanya dalam waktu belasan hari Sang ibu meninggal karena penyakit Putri mereka masih kecil menghilang dan tak lama kemudian ayahnya gantung diri di pohon depan rumah mereka Jadi ayahnya gantung diri, itunya anaknya hilang yang which means si Senhe dan ibunya meni uh, meninggal karena penyakit Sudah dipastikan bahwa sisa-sisa dewa jahat telah ditemukan di desa tersebut Para menurut mereka tidak ada yang tahu apakah sisa-sisa dewa jahat akan menyiapkan Harap berhati-hati His obsessive yearning for his deceased wife led to a terrible tragedy. The villagers moved away in fear without ever learning the truth. And now, this place is deserted. Still, I do wonder what the connection is between Shenhe and Mingjun. Hmm. We've looked everywhere, but still no mention of Sabrosium. Let's have a look over there. Sihir yang disegel dalam sebuah subrosium mempunyai efek jangka panjang. 
Orang yang percaya bahwa batu itu adalah jembatan antara alam hidup dan mati Tapi tidak mudah untuk menemukan subrosium Karena kamu harus di tempat yang tepat dan waktu yang tepat Legendanya, jika kamu berdiri di tengah danau yang ada di sebelah selatan Mount Tianheng Tianheng Di saat senja dan melihat ke arah matahari terbenam, kamu akan menemukan subrosium So basically, we need to go to the middle of the lake south of Mount Tianhung at dusk, and we'll find us some subrosium. Let's go back and tell Shenhua the news. Yeah, let's go. One year when I was back visiting. I heard a story about a white-haired adeptus from a merchant passing by. I never imagined it was you. I was a very close friend of your father's. I could have stopped him from performing the summoning ritual. I had plenty of chances, but I couldn't bring myself to stand up to him. I just let things happen, let it all escalate. And, well, we all know how that story ended. I bring flowers back here every year. And each time I wish I had a chance to apologize to you. Apologize for what? If you'd stopped him, he'd only have found another way. There is nothing he wouldn't have done for his true love. Nothing. Do you still hate him? I don't know what I feel. I'm told my fate is to bear the curse of calamity, so my master bound my soul with red ropes to curb my aggression. But it also dampened my emotions, making me dispassionate, like the Adepti. So if you ask me how I feel about the past, if I hate my father or not, the truth is... It must have been so tough for you all these years. Oh, then I will leave you all in peace. Shenhe, it brings me some solace knowing that you are okay. I'll tell you more about the old times next time we meet. Thanks, mister. We found some info in the end. Shenhe, look. This tells us how to find Sabrosium. All we gotta do is... Hmm. Let's go then. Uh... Miss Shenhe, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Just now, in the village, we found your father's diary. It turns out that many of the details in the Divine Damsel of Devon. Why? I know I say that opera always deviates from the truth, but now that the main character is standing right here in front <laughs> of me, I cannot simply dismiss your lived experience in favor of my father's fiction. It's okay. I like your version. B uh, huh? My master once said that the day I learn how to use my strength for the good of others is the day that I can truly become part of human society. So, I hope that one day I might be brave enough to stand up and protect others, just like the girl in the opera. But I've never thought this way before, and I wonder whether I will continue to think in this way. Don't worry. I believe you will. In fact, I think maybe you've already started to become the person you aspire to be. You just haven't had the opportunity to see it for yourself yet. Shenhua! Yunjin! Cut the chit-chat! Let's go! We can't let someone else beat us too! Kisahnya Senhe termasuk tragic sih, maksudnya kayak lumayan menyedihkan sih. Tapi yang gua kira awalnya Senhe itu adalah Adeptus, ternyata bukan. Membuat gua agak sedikit shock. Gua kira dia Adeptus. Tujuh belas tiga puluh.
gimana sih ini ya? That's everything we need. Let's head back and report in. Eh, udah ngapain manjat? This is some top quality ore you found. I guess now it's my time to shut. Hey everyone, how's the A-team doing? I ran into a bit of a brick wall on my end. Suling's never seen a Wonder Core before, and says it'd take a lot of research for him. Uh, leave the Wonder Cores to me. I'll work on them while you... Don't worry. <laughs> Much obliged, Master Zhang. We should look into the Adepti sigils next, but where should we find items... I'll sort that out. Oh? Uh, you got this? Yes. I have been training with the Adepti for years. I know a thing or two about making sigils. When we first met, I told you I came for the Jade Chamber, not the contest. In fact, I came specifically to deliver Adepti sigils. Master heard that Ning Wong was planning to rebuild the Jade Chamber, so she sent me to deliver some Adepti sigils to her. Master also said she hoped that I can take this opportunity to rejoin human society. But now that I'm here, I wonder if I've been removed from the world for too long. And there's so much basic knowledge that maybe it won't work for me to stay here after all. But either way, without knowing the ins and outs of your situation, I can't say whether you should stay or not. But now that our paths have crossed, we'll always have a connection. So if you're ever feeling down, come find me on my ship. There'll be a drink waiting for you. Thank you. So, Master Zhang, I'll need to use your facilities to make the sigils. Fine by me. I'm actually curious to see how the Adepti arts work. Whew. The sigils are ready. Though they are in some respects inferior to my master. I've finished forging the things you asked for, too. Great! Let's go submit them before someone else gets their ahead. Ooh, apa ini? Wonder Core sama Adept Adeptai Sigil. Ade, gua harus terbang lagi. Di bawah kan, mau di atas kan? Iya, di bawah. Yunjin and Beido. What? It's over already? I haven't even found the plus strike yet. Oh, I can't believe it. Uh, so close, but so far. I'd like to invite our three winners to please proceed to the Jade Chamber, where Lady Ningguang is waiting for you. Huh? Where's Beido? She was right here. Captain Beido has some business to attend to. She will join later. Please come with me for now. Gimana cara naiknya? Nggak ada lift. All right then. Guess we'll head on up to the Jade Chamber first. This has been a long time coming. The last time we went up to the. Wow. 
Bolehkah gue explore lagi? Kayaknya sama aja sih. Gak bisa masuk juga kan? Tuhan gak bisa. Combine the Adepti sigils with the Wonder Cores and insert them into the Jade Chamber's control compartment. The construction of the new Jade Chamber is now officially complete. Once the tethers are released, it will soar into the sky. Thank you all for your work. Now it is time. Yeah! Miss Yun, I've already heard something about the reason for your involvement. That's right, Lady Mingguang. I would like to hear your... The unveiling of Miss Yoon's grand new opera surely requires a venue of equal grandeur. So what would Whoa. you say if I proposed that we stage your first performance Gila, right here di in the newly chamber built Jade dong. Chamber? Buat the Jade Chamber offers a splendid panoramic view of the mountains and the bustling city. It is fitting for the finest performance to be hosted in the heavens. I can think of no better stage for you than here, Miss Yoon. Thank you, Lady Ningguang. Then I will prepare my props and other articles shortly. You're quite welcome. It's truly what a good opera deserves. Oh, a traveler, Shenhe, Paimon, I'll be leaving now. Do come and see my play when the time comes. You're next. What is your question? I should clarify. I do not know your sister's whereabouts. Please, don't waste your question on this matter. Wow, you're a mind reader, Ningguang. Oh well, guess Paimon will ask a question then. Managing a successful business is not as simple as you might think. Capital, connections, sensitivity to the trends, and instinct for what is a good opportunity. All of these traits are crucial. If you want to know how to make money, I will honor our agreement and give you an answer. But that is not to say that it will work for you. Wow, Paimon hadn't even asked the question yet. Your question was written all over your face. Now look, you helped me rebuild the Jade Chamber, and I intend to repay you handsomely for it. Spuribu mora, eh mas spuribu mora. Spuribu primo game. You may seek employment here. I will pay you at the highest rate of remuneration. Oh, great! So next time we run out of Mora, we just need to come to Ningguang? No more questions from us. Shenhe, you got a question? Me? Yes, this is a group effort. Thank you, but I don't have anything to ask. Are you sure? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I'd urge you not to squander it. Yeah, just don't waste it. Uh, hold on a second. Paimon can probably... Lady Ningguang, do you think I can ever fit in in Liyue Harbor? Now that is an interesting question. Liyue Harbor is very inclusive. As long as you respect the rules here, you will not be turned away. So, the key is whether or not you yourself can develop a sense of belonging in the Yua Harbor. Hmm. Huh. A sense of belonging? Yes. To become fond of a place, to feel part of it, it always requires a reason. Perhaps someone you've met, or something you've experienced here. Or perhaps you enjoy the atmosphere of Liyue, and you will become accustomed to it. In short, everyone needs a reason to stay. I hope you can find yours soon. I see. Hey, what's going on? I just want to see the fleet I'm a little later than expected. Come on, Beto. It's your turn. Do you have a question for Ningguang? Me? <laughs> nah, I ain't got any questions. She forced me to help out, so I figured I may as well get involved with the contest. Ningguang, don't forget what we talked about. It's not going to be easy to deal with. I don't think my fleet can take it on their own. Don't worry. I have made preparations. 
The wound dressings are ready, and the Millilith have set up an ambush. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Watch your back. Stay alert. Beedle? Ningguang? You'll see when the Jade Chamber ascends. However, it's not the most pleasant topic of conversation. Maybe it's better that you don't know. Oh, what a rasiapa ni. When I first set foot in the Jade Chamber, I stood at the edge of the platform and looked down upon Liyua Harbor far below. At that time, I dreamed that one day the Jade Chamber's shadow would be seen at all seven nations of Tevat. My wish has not changed to this very day. However, it is not only out of consideration for myself that I have built the Jade Chamber anew at this time. I hope the Jade Chamber will always float in the skies above Liyua Harbor, bearing witness to the prosperity and peace of the human world. And I hope that you can all witness it with me. Let the ascension ceremony commence! Ceremony, but... Tapi... Okay, watch, watch. The Avenger of the Vortex by Sh Who is that? Osile's wife, final follower of the Overlord of the Vortex. Sounds like you knew this was coming! Beto sensed something was stirring in the deep. She warned me months ago. Knowing she harbors hatred toward the Jade Chamber, I chose to rebuild it now as a way of drawing her out. Got it! Well, <clears throat> let's go fetch the Adepti! No. Huh? In this human age, the people of Liyua must find a way to overcome this crisis on our strength alone! You are a cursed child. Your life brings nothing but disaster to us all. At least if you die, I can bring her back. The day you learn how to use your strength for the good of others is the day that you can truly become part of human society.
Dia main nyemplung aja itu. I hardly see this as a great risk. Ah, gue belum ngerti. Jinju, shit. Only sheer willpower is keeping her alive. I may be nearing the end of my stamina, but in a fight to the death, I think I have the upper hand. Mana dia? Oh shit. Oh, kepala ya banyak. By ordinance divine, you can't run. Illusion shattered. Belum ganti parti. Wish, wish. Pak sumpah aku belum nanti party. Udah, udah pencongornya lagi. Transfiguration, shine down, horn to oblivion. Wah, untung bisa dihajar lagi gitu. Ah, shit. Kau cepat. Holy cow. Jepret. Okay, mati dua. Oh, shush, 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 shush. Kawat ni nggak bawa makanan. Healernya sinju lagi. Oh shit. Oh shit. Aduh, nggak mau ganti. Mati gue. Mati lu. This place is unstable. It is too risky to continue pursuing her. If the place collapsed, the consequences would be disastrous. Let's head back. I'm just a little exhausted. I wanted to deal with it myself. I didn't expect you to follow me. Don't worry. She's not coming back anytime soon. After an injury like that, she'll likely seek refuge somewhere else. How did things go underwater? It's been dealt with. She was injured before entering the water. It didn't take too much effort to finish the job. Good. So the crisis has been safely averted. When you... Lady Ningguang. The fleet reports that the sea monster has left Guyan Stone Forest and the surrounding waters have returned to normal. Thank you. How are the Millilith? Thanks to the medical supplies you prepared and Lady Kuching's command, our losses were mi- Of course, we owe huge Zong thanks to this ada. young lady. Zhong Li Xiao nga ada, nga muncul. On behalf oh, mereka ada of the entire si. Millilith, thank mereka you for the service. Ningguang bilang I... tadi, mereka bukan zaman, ibaratnya bukan zamannya Indo lagi. Great. Then next time I watch Miss Yun's opera, I'll be able to take the compliments. I wasn't trying to be a hero, though. Let the soldiers recuperate, but don't let your guard down. If she returns with a vengeance, we must be prepared. Yes, ma'am. You've been monitoring us for some time now. I trust you've reached a conclusion. Hmm. 
You wish to hear one's opinion. Well, things would have hardly gone so smoothly had it not been for Shen He. That I do not deny. However, final victory was always going to be ours, even had things been a little more arduous. If it came to it, I could always destroy another Jade Chamber. One has observed your adaptation of the Guizhong Ballista, and find oneself compelled to admit that you have evidenced some degree of novel thinking. You have learned from past failures and prepared for this crisis in advance. This is considerable progress compared to the last time. Hence, on balance, one finds your performance during this trial satisfactory enough. But there will no doubt be further trials to come in the future. Do not suppose that one will not continue observing you hereafter. While the position of Tianjuan remains mine, I will always ensure Liyue's safety. Shen He. One saw you secretly venture out from the mountains a few years ago, and noticed the air of dejection in which you returned. Hopefully, this trip to Liyue Harbor has been a different experience. Yes. I can't explain it, but... I feel happier than I expected. Hmm. Good. Traveler, please take good care of Shen He. She is a dear child. In fact... One has many fond memories of Shen He's childhood that she may be interested to hear about. There'll be no need for that. Oh. Hm. They are all like this. Fine. Since you care not to listen, one shan't be telling you. One shall be going homeward now. Please, have a good rest. Come to the Jade Chamber when you have recovered your energy. We must celebrate both the completion of the Jade Chamber and the fact that Liyue has weathered another crisis. This banquet must be the most spectacular ever. Wow. Ini gua di mana ya? Kok banyak batu ya? Oh, di tempat yang ada landak ya. I'm attending a banquet in the Jade Chamber. The food here looks amazing. Luar biasa dari mana nggak ada makanan nih, Mister Paimon? My distinguished guest, I am determined that each of you thoroughly enjoys yourself. Those who don't drink alcohol, please help yourself to other beverages. Fine wine is a delight to the senses, but it is far from the only one. I trust you will find the marvelous view from the Jade Chamber to be an equally gratifying indulgence. Have you heard? Miss Yun's going to be performing today. Sure have. Honestly, it's the main reason I'm here. I've never missed any of Miss Yun's performances, and I don't intend to start now. I hear she's going to perform the Divine Damsel of Devastation today, the one written by her father. I've been so excited that I've barely slept the last few nights. Hey, look! Miss Yun is going on stage!
玄女劈罐，到这里本该接近尾声，但今日我再添一笔，唱与祝。时鹤归，茫茫天地无依靠，孤身离去。今日再会，新朋旧友坐满堂，共聚此时。It was wonderful. Also, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks to you, the divine damsel of devastation is a more nuanced tale than ever. The play has an ending, but life goes on. I believe you will find a way to fit in in Li Yue Harbor. Thank you. I think I found the opportunity I needed to change. Ms. Yun. <laughs> Uh, here you are. Great to see you. Huh? Hey, this young lady with the white hair looks like some kind of VIP. Yeah, that's it. Like an adeptus. Wait, you're the girl from the opera, aren't you? The divine damsel herself. And look who else we have here. The illustrious traveler. Well, I'll be. <laughs> this was definitely worth showing up for. Let me pull up a chair. All right. We'll all have a friendly chat. Get better acquainted. <laughs> Alternatively, you could leave us alone. That is, if you'd prefer to finish your drink via the orifice of your own choice. Uh oh. This <laughs> feels all too familiar. Shenhu's back to her old self again. Hey, what are you doing? Calm down, Shenhu. Calm down. Ok, com essa ela sai. Enam puluh primo gem. Quest panjang itu enam puluh primo gem. Banyak apa dikit? <laughs> Menurut gua dikit. At least seratus lokasi gue. Jangan enam puluh. Aduh. Ok. Ok. Oke, okay, gua rasa cukup uh, quest Adeptus kali ini, quest tentang cerita Senhe yang menurut gua bagus, bagus. Red dari 1 sampai 10, gua kasih nilai 8. Karena kenapa? Menurut gua Senhe ini ceritanya cukup deep, gitu ya. Kayak dari dia dibuang, dibilang anak terkutuk segala macam dan akhirnya dia diangkat sama Adeptus. Dan gue pikir pertama dia ini Adeptus ternyata bukan. Gue pikir dia ini kayak ganyu atau seperti apa. Tapi ternyata dia human. Dia itu manusia. Cuman dia belajar seni Adeptus. Jadi orang mengira dia itu Adeptus. Ceritanya sangat menarik. Gue suka ceritanya Senhe. Dan oke. Okay, that's it. Sampai sini dulu. Uh, untuk. Genshin Impact story-nya Senhe kali ini. Jangan lupa untuk di-like, di-share, dan di-subscribe. Bagikan teman-teman kalian supaya banyak yang nonton. So, thank you yang udah nonton. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.